Today, you're going to learn how to cook five minute tapioca pearls. When it comes to making tapioca pearls at home, we want things to be quick and easy. And to be fair, the type that you would normally cook, which is the grade A tapioca pearls that you would find at boba shops, those take about 45 minutes or more. So when you see a bag that says three to five minutes on it, sign me up. These types of products are both readily available online and at your local Chinese or Asian market. Some might say three minutes like these ones and others will say five. But even the ones that say three minutes tend to be better once cooked for five. And to confirm, this is the quick cook type. This is not the type that takes 30, 45 minutes or longer. This is the type that once that water is boiling, you should have your tapioca pearls ready for your drink in under five minutes. Because these bags are imported European products, they say new sago, but they are tapioca pearls. This one is the original flavor and this one is taro, but I have seen them in a wide variety of both flavors and colors. So wherever you're at in the world, go ahead and grab your bag of three to five minute quick cook type tapioca pearls and let's get started. The instructions on the bag give a one to 10 ratio. Now, normally with the longer cooking type boba, I give a one to six ratio, but just to give them the benefit of the doubt, we'll go ahead with one to 10 because you can never have too much water when you're cooking tapioca pearls. Because it's just me today and because I'm doing two different colors and flavors, I'm gonna be using a half of a cup. A half of a cup tends to come to about 100 milliliters, so you just multiply that times 10, which gives you one liter. So for a half a cup, that would be about 36 ounces. I'll be sure to leave all of the measurements and conversions in the description below. Because I'm cooking two different types of pearls today, I'm going to cook them in two separate pots, but normally, of course, you can just do them in one. Well, we can't cook boba without a rolling boil, so let's get that started. So first, whatever your measurement for the tapioca pearls is, you wanna multiply that times 10 in order to get the correct liquid amount. So I'm gonna put the water in and get it to a rolling boil. I like to put the lid on top during this step because it retains more heat, so therefore it should boil quicker. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the original flavored white ones in the larger pot and the taro flavored purple ones in the smaller pot. Now the good news is because it's a one to 10 ratio, you could just get away with whatever container you're using in order to measure everything out. So for example, I'm doing a half cup. You could just do this 10 times for water and one time for the tapioca, which will give you your one to 10. Or alternatively, if you just have a measuring container like this Pyrex or whatnot, you can use this to measure into your pot as well. And then the only other thing you need is a timer. If you don't have one, I'm sure you've got one on your phone. We won't be setting that timer until we actually put the tapioca pearls into the boiling water. And we wanna make sure it's at a rolling boil. All right, so our smallest pot has come to a rolling boil. Be very careful, this is very, very hot. And now I'm just going to carefully measure in my half cup and I'm going to carefully pour them in just a little bit at a time. These ones are not as delicate as the longer cooking type, which means they're going to hold their form nicely. And the other thing we can do with these is give them a little bit of a stir just to help them along. And as you can tell, these ones don't clump together, which is awesome. As we are dealing with boiling water and a flame on the stove, if you are a young person, I would advise for parental guidance. We wanna make sure everybody is safe. All right, we'll give it one more second. We're just waiting until all of the tapioca pearls rise to the top. And it looks like they're just about there. So I'm just gonna give it one more quick stir and then I'm going to put the lid on. And at this point, we're just going to turn the flame down just a tad, like right about there. About approximately a medium flame. Okay, so the large pot is at a rolling boil. Again, be very, very careful. There is a lot of steam and this is very hot. I'm just gonna take my same half cup measuring, get those in like that. And again, just carefully going around. We just don't wanna put them in a huge clump. Give them a second. And then we can very carefully start stirring them. Let's give them a second. They need to just start rising and floating on the top before we can put the lid on. 
The reason for this is because once we put the lid back on, we're going to turn the temperature down to a medium flame. And right now, we want to have the flame as high as possible in that boiling state. So as soon as they start getting to this place where they're actually floating, we are allowing that heat temperature to continue to come back up. And now we can go ahead that they're floating, put the lid back on and turn the flame down to a medium. So as soon as you put the lid on the pot, go ahead and hit your five minute timer. While we're waiting for our tapioca pearls to cook, go ahead and make your drink, get everything ready and just take a moment to relax. There's really not much that you have to do with this really easy, quick cook type. All right, now that our five minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and carefully remove the lid. Yep, these look ready to go. They are nice and plump and all cooked up. And although the center might still have a little bit of color in it, that will disappear as soon as we take them out of the water. I'm going to use two separate strainers just so you can see how they both work. Uh, but for the first one here, I'm just using it for the purple pearls. We're going to transfer them into some cold and or room temperature water. And basically what this is doing is just stopping the cooking process. Alternatively, you can put it into a sieve in the sink and you can just go ahead and do it that way and rinse it under some cold water. And now my white tapioca pearls are finished, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off for those as well and remove the lid. Ooh, that was really cool. They were all floating and then as soon as I removed the lid, they all sank. That was really neat. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and transfer these into some water as well. Now these tapioca pearls, just like all tapioca pearls, should be consumed right away, preferably within four hours. Now the bag does say for the uncooked pearls to keep them in the fridge. Personally, I would recommend keeping them in an airtight container and you can never go wrong keeping the uncooked pearls in the freezer. So now that the tapioca pearls have been resting in the room temperature or cold water for just a few minutes, we're going to transfer them out and put in some sweetener. This could be sugar, brown sugar, honey, brown sugar syrup, longan honey, fructose syrup, fructose powder, and you can even do things with different flavors as well. It's totally up to you. This is an optional step, but personally, I enjoy it and it's an industry standard that when you're done cooking tapioca pearls, you wanna put them into something sweet so that way it kinda of sucks up that little bit extraness of sweetness right before you're about to put it in the drink. Okay, so for the white one, I'm going to add a teaspoon of honey and just give that a really good stir. All right, and those are good to go. And so for the taro flavored one, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a couple teaspoons of brown sugar, give that a really good stir. And within a couple minutes, all of that will dissolve and give it a nice, deep, rich flavor on that. All right, so there you have it. We have our purple taro tapioca pearls and our clear or white New Sago original flavor tapioca pearls. And although it said cook three minutes, I enjoy the five minute, but of course you could have cooked it for three minutes if you wanted. I just personally prefer mine to be a little more plump and chewier, and I feel that they last a tad bit longer in the ice cold drink before becoming too hard. And there's only one thing left to do, put them into a milk tea, of course. All right, I got both of my homemade milk teas here, one with the white pearls and one with the purple taro ones. Let's give them a quick try. The milk tea is great, of course. Mm, nice and soft and chewy, exactly how I like my tapioca pearls. And just with a hint of that honey, because we had them soaking in it for a little bit. All right, and moving on to the taro purple ones. Hmm, yeah, just as good, nice and soft. The taro flavor isn't super strong, but it's there just enough. But I think that if I didn't know they were taro flavored, I might not recognize it, but I can kind of taste it in the background. So all in all a success for the three to five minute quick cooking type tapioca pearls. Please be sure to click that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I bring out a brand new video every week. I'll see you again soon. Take care.